Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome. Yes, it's the 1st of October, Pink October, and it's my second video, so it's the same clothes. I thought I would start off my travel yarn adventures from my UK holiday. So mainly this these videos will be about the yarn, crochet knitting, anything relating to my knitting and crochet crafting that I experienced overseas in the UK. So let's get started. I left here for London excited to see my eldest son who I haven't seen for four years. For the video his nickname will be Ronsky. He is happy as, um, very different, he's in his 40s now and he's aging as I told him <laughs> and um, yeah but extremely happy with his life over there and I'm glad for that because all you want for your children is for them to be happy. We had a lot of fun. We dined out a lot, trying a lot of different cuisines, Peruvian, Armenian, Italian, and good old English fish and chips, of course. His flatmate cooked for us twice. We had two family dinners over there, mainly Peruvian food, because that's where he's from. And yeah, had a ball. We went to Greenwich um, for the day. On We tried the Uber ferry to Greenwich, Camden Markets, and of course, Lockie came along for the ride and there are lots of photos about Lockie. So if I post something that you've already seen on Instagram or Facebook, I apologise, but I'm just going to start from the beginning. So where I was staying in London was Paddington. There weren't yarn shops around there that were close. And one of the yarn shops I've been to before in London is called the Loop of London, but it was quite a way away and needed to take the underground now. I'm not great with escalators. I can go up them, but I can't go down them. Quick story, when my parents immigrated to Australia, I fell down an escalator my first day here, a very big one, and I've always had a fear of going down them. And it's never left me, even at this age. So to go to Loop of London, it meant we had to go to a YouTube station, Angel, which happens to have the longest up escalator of the underground. I think Ronsky said it takes about 1.4 minutes to go up it and going down it, it's really steep. Anyway, we went there. He took me there along with Thing and they had coffee outside and I went into Loop of London, which I love this shop. And funnily enough, I felt uncomfortable. I don't know why. The staff were lovely. The shop was the same. Still lots of lovely yarn, but I just felt awkward and uncomfortable. However, I did buy yarn. I may have shared this before, so I do apologize, but I do love this yarn. So I bought, now I think it's Quing Fiber, I can't read the last bit, hand dyed yarn in London, and here it is. This is the colorway. Um, this was one that really attracted me and because I became uncomfortable, I didn't really buy much more than this and a set of knitting needles. It's 100% ultra fine um, merino. I don't know what that is, I can't read it, but 100% ultra fine merino and they're 400 meters in the hang. It does say something on here that I, um, I appreciate. It's called dashing fingering and the color is papaya but it does say cold water wash in a bit of wool wash it might bleed in the dyeing so wash it a few times first. The reason I appreciate that recently I washed some hand dyed yarn I had made a project out of and lo and behold all the dyes ran into each other. Actually Things saw it the other night and he went, wow, what happened there? And I said, the dyes ran. I did everything per the instruction, but it ran really badly. So yes, I do appreciate knowing that if you have hand dyed yarn, and maybe I'm just not very smart, it really does pay to hand wash it first before you use it and get as much of the bleed out of it. Anyway, that is the yarn I bought. It is beautiful and soft. When I bought it, I had a big project in mind, and that was the plan. I would buy a lot of four-ply or super-fine pure wool or wool blend to make this project. 
So that was my first purchase. Now, Ronsky's a teacher and he was on summer break, but he also, during the towards the end of summer break, has to go to the school and do some meetings and planning. And one particular day he was, and because he'd moved apartments, Thing and I decided we would buy him a, a little apartment warming present. And he had said so something that he wanted that had broken in the move. So off we went um, to Oxford Street and we went to John Lewis, which I really love. It's a beautiful store, absolutely. And we bought him a housewarming gift. Um, and yeah, I was really excited about that. But John Lewis also has a yarn department. And I decided during my holiday, I would try and keep up with Bod Had a Palooza and give the beanies away to charities locally rather than bring them home. So up in their department, I noticed there wasn't a lot of different yarn. There was a lot of Aran yarn, which is like 10 ply or four way, but huge balls, and I didn't want that. But I did find a ball of yarn that I like the color of, King Cole Safari, and it's chunky. I don't normally use chunky, but the reason I bought this, I didn't think that was a true chunky weight. I thought that was more four weight. Now the colour, the shade is Elephant 5000. I don't know what that means. It's 100% premium acrylic. Because when I make be beanies for crochet for cancer, they have to be 100% acrylic. King Cole Skipton, which has made me think of something else, Made in Turkey, 150 grams, 285 meters or 311 yards. So there you have it. And I think Shade Elephant 5000. I thought there was a different color name on it. But no, because it's called Safari. But there you have it. One ball I bought at John Lewis. I can't even remember what I paid. I Probably if I looked at my bank statement, I could tell you. But yes, there wasn't a lot of choice there. And way back in 2019, there was a huge choice. So the, whether they're having delivery problems or changing it, I don't know. I do like the fact their ball bands say they're made from recycled paper. Now, what did I make with this? Well, that was this week because come the first bot had a palooza to be drawn out while I was away. It was a pumpkin beanie, so I had to go out and buy orange. But I have used it, and I've used it this week for the Bod Hat Palooza Cat Hat. Now, I will put a link to this video, the tutorial um, in, the, in the description below or the show notes, because I love this. Now, I think Crystal made it with a 6mm hook, and I made it with a 5.5mm hook. I always go down a bit of a size, depending on the yarn and the style of the hat. I'm going to try and put it on but hopefully I'll have a photo of me wearing it at the end that you can see better now no it's not going to go on because I have a ponytail I'll take a photo this is so easy and even thing and Reeves said it looks great now I did a couple of rows longer and I probably shouldn't have I probably should have stuck to exactly what crystal did but that was made with my kinkle yarn from the UK, London. I spent a lot of time in Paddington taking different photos and there may be a few photos at the end of this video but I didn't buy a lot of yarn in London. I don't usually. I'll wait till I move further afield. So from London we went up to Edinburgh and that will be my next video. My travel and yarn adventures in Edinburgh and what I bought there. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed the content and finding out about the different yarns. I'll put a link to Loop of London um, in the description below because I, you can buy online, I think, from them. It's just postage. Postage from the UK is astronomical. Trust me, I posted four kilos of yarn home, home and it wasn't cheap. Anyway, until next time, stay safe. Take care and why not try the cat hat because it really does look like a cat hat when it's on. Bye bag o' day. Bye for <music>